a huge game today as we travel to an improving Wolverhampton Wanderers. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today, welcome to today's match day preview. Today it, it is Wolves away in the Premier League. Big game for both teams. Obviously we need a win um, to keep our hopes alive um, in finishing in the top four. And Wolves need a win to get away from the relegation zone. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and let's get into today's match day preview. Okay, then let's take a look at the form of coming into today's game at Molyneux. Now we'll start with Tottenham. We have a loss, win, win, loss, loss, and a win. Our last game was that embarrassing 1-0 loss against Sheffield United in the FA Cup. It was um, Lilliman in dire on the score sheet um, for uh, Sheffield United. Wolves, they've got a loss, draw, loss, win, win, and a loss. Wolves, their last game was also on Wednesday as they lost 2 0 against Liverpool. Uh, Virgil van Dijk and Mohamed Salah on the score sheet for Liverpool. Kevin, so what's my score prediction for today's game at Molyneux? Now, confidence isn't really that high after the performance against Sheffield United. But to be fair, we did start the likes of, you know, Sanchez, Mora, and, you know, it was pretty much our B team, pretty much. Um, so I'm sure today we'll probably see the likes of, you know, you know Romero, Kane, Son, Kuliszewski and that. Um, Wolves haven't really got the best home record against us. Wolves haven't beaten Tottenham at Molyneux since 2010, where Wolves won... Um, well, Wolves won one nil on the tenth, on the tenth of February, two thousand and ten. Where Wolves beat us one nil, and ever since then, uh, Wolves haven't beaten us at Molyneux since twenty ten. Um, but yeah, you know, but Wolves, Wolves have actually improved recently. You know, Lopetegui's leading them in the right direction. They'll want to win this game. We'll want to win. Um, apparently, the team was very frustrated and angry after the loss against Sheffield United on Wednesday. So, we really need an improvement. And I'm sure um, Chris Stellini and the coaching staff, and I'm sure Antonio Conte would have watched, game, would have watched the game from in Italy. Well, I think Conte's um, coming back to England today. Um, I think he'll be in the dugout for the game against AC Milan. Um, so I'm sure I don't know if he's on the plane, if he's back in London or something. I'm sure he, I'm sure he would have watched that Sheffield United game, um, and he would have been frustrated. I'm sure he will be watching the game today, and uh, he'll want to see how we get on. He'll want to see how we get on. Um, I think it'll be a tough game, but in the Premier League, um, Stellini's got a good record. You know, haven't conceded in the Premier League. Christian Stellini's won every game as Tottenham manager in the Premier League. So, I think it'll be close, but I'm going to go Wolves 1, Spurs 2. I think Wolves will score, but we'll win 2-1. OK, well, let's take a look at the players to look out for then. And let's start uh, with Spurs after that loss against Sheffield United. And for me, no one, because I think everyone was absolutely awful. So, yeah, there's no one, to be honest. Uh, Wolves... Uh, I'm just going to base this off stats, and to be fair, Wolves looks like they did not play well at all. So I'm have to say no one as well, so it looks like it's no one for both teams. Okay then, so it's time for the beat you've all been waiting for. My predictive lineup for today's game against Wolverhampton Wanderers at Molyneux Stadium in Wolverhampton. Um, so in goal, I'm going to go Fraser Forster. Well, I have to go Forster because... Larissa's injured and why on earth we start Brandon Austin. Uh, back three, Christian Romero, Eric Dyer and Clement Longley. Uh, Romero didn't even come on. He didn't come on against Sheffield United. So, yeah. And to be fair, last time out in the Premier League against Chelsea, he had a really good performance. Uh, you know, of course, I think Dyer and Longley. So I think it'll be the same back three that started against Chelsea, and then I'm going with the same midfield that started against Chelsea. Emerson Royale, Pierre-Mil Hoiberg, Oliver Skip, and Ben Davis. Um, I would like to see Papa Matasar and Skip 
play alongside each other because Hoiberg, oh, it's just he, he, he's he's just allergic to like passing the ball forward. Um, but I don't think Stellini would do that anyway, or whoever's name it is, it's Conte or Stellini, I don't know. Um, but I'll go Hoiberg and Skip. Um, and for me, I think Skip had a good game against Charles Sellers. I think he deserves to start. Hoiberg didn't really do a lot, but Papa saw was truly awful. Um, again, he did start, didn't he? I think he started. Did Matasar start against Sheffield United? Let me check. I think he did. Yeah, we did. And to be fair, this was really awful, so I'm going to start in. Uh, then Ben Davis um, instead of Perisic. I don't know what's happened to Perisic. Like, his crosses just aren't good anymore. His crosses just are not good anymore. Um, and to be fair, Davis did well against West Ham, did well against Chelsea. So he should start. And then front three, Kulusevski, Kane and Son. Richarlison did start against Sheffield United. I wouldn't start him today because literally people have been making TikTok edits out of that shot he had against Sheffield United. It went out, it went out, it went out for like a throwing or something. And it was just really... It, Richarlison was just awful, to be honest. Um, so I would give Sonny a chance. And of course, Kane... And Kulusevski um, start up front alongside with Sonny. Um, so my predictive lineup today to play Wolves is Forster, Romero, Dyer, Lungley, Emerson, Hoiberg, Skip, Davis, Kulusevski, Kane, and Son. So one change um, after the defeat against Chelsea, and I have no idea how many changes after the loss against Sheffield United. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios. Come on!